Hello, welcome to another episode of Downtown Dirt. Ooh. Downtown Dirt presents Afraid and Naked. Former contestant Travis was swept downstream in his last attempt during extraction. Travis resurfaced months later and will give it another go. Travis will board a plane, land in a pond in the middle of nowhere in the Alaskan forest. Does Travis have what it takes? Find out next on the next Afraid and Naked. Uh, so this is it. Pretty much my uh, first attempt. Um, I was swept downstream in my camera. Um, got swept down in a uh, crazy rapid. I lost my partner. It was. Uh, I technically didn't finish the uh, Afraid and Naked situation. However, um. I'm going to get airplaned in the middle of the forest and try number two. I'm waiting on my partner who they said overslept and has a hangover from the night before. Um, they should be here soon, but um, I'm going to go out and get started, get camp set up on my way. And um, yeah, it should be fun. I'm excited. Afraid and Naked, part two. Well, so here it is. I'm ready to go on the uh, in the plane. And this is uh, the drop-off point. I'm getting dropped off in the middle of nowhere. Afraid and Naked. Shotgun in a plane. A little co piloting. A little co piloting. <laughs> After four days without water, Travis starts hallucinating. Talking with a different accent, he needs to hydrate immediately. Bad measures will be taken. I ran out of water. I had a little, little jug, a little bottle. I left my gallon. On the coffee table, I shit you not. Oh, I can't get any water out here and I lost my pot. I tried to swim across the ravine. It didn't work out. I lost the pot. The only thing I can do now is drink my own urine. Oh, this is piss water, folks. But it will keep you hydrated. So what I need to do is hydrate myself by drinking my own piss. Wish me luck. Oh. <coughs> oh my god, it's fucking terrible. If you look around, we got a bunch of dragonflies, these blue dragonflies everywhere. Maybe you can see them moving if I stay still off the camera. This dinner, if I can find a way to trap these, I can make some sort some sort of dragonfly stew and that's what I'm shooting for tonight in a dense forest Alaskan bears and other wildlife will always be in your hair so I'm in a dense forest I found a can of bear mace that I made with a couple sticks I'll show you how to make a bunch of things of sticks a little later on including a tent a shotgun maybe a bag of Cheetos we'll show you how to make some things of sticks but right now in the middle of a dense forest. Bears have razor sharp claws and like to scratch trees. Bear mace is critical to survive. So I just knocked down this tree. This is perfect firewood. It was a widow maker. Being eaten alive by horseflies. We just knocked down a widow maker. 
We got wood. The bugs. The bugs are horrible. So I made a cooler out of sticks to keep my fish cold. And uh, I made some ice out of sticks as well. The bugs are surrounding it like crazy right now. Um, the bugs are bad out here, man. I'm being eaten alive. I got bug bites all over, man. I can't see out of one eye. I don't know what's going on there. It's a little quiet. Animals came alive. Rocking the bear mace. I'm waiting for the coyotes. My partner didn't make it tonight. They suffered from a hangover. They were lost in the struggle somehow, some way. Apparently they're wanted on a $1,500 bail. I'm out here by myself. Um, I got a radio going from some uh, sticks I put together. I made an antenna and with a bird beak. And uh, I fucking um, brewed some uh, Budweiser out of um, pond water that I boiled up with a couple leaves. Pond water is full of trout and leeches. Trout contains protein, which keeps the body going. Early morning sunrise is the best time to search for trout from fallen trees. <laughs> what you got to do, this is a technique I have, catching trout. You go to the top of a tree that's hanging over a lake, river, or pond, and you reach down. It's kind of like an animal, you know? So pretty much what I need to do here, wow! <laughs> oh, I got a trout! I got one! I've been out here for a while, and I can't really build a shelter that is worth sleeping in without getting drenched by rain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a tent, a shelter out of sticks, and this is how it starts. What you want to do is construct something that looks like a TP formation. And this is the final product out here. So what I'm going to do is uh, build a gun out of sticks. I'm going to start with sticks. This is how I'll do it. That looks like a good base. And after stacking a bunch of sticks together, now I have something for some animals. Self-defense. Got some self-defense. Carved it up with a couple stones. This is for the bears, the raccoons, the tree rats, all those bad boys. Mosquitoes too. Ugh. Tonight I sleep well. I've been out here for a year and a half. I had a uh, friend, let's call him Wilson, um, but now finally I had a smoke signal and uh, the extraction team's finally on their way. I'm finally getting out of this place. Whew. Oh, I completed the challenge. Oh my god, I just got done taking a shit and I missed extraction. They came here, they left, I missed extraction! Why? Why? You, you forgot us! Oh, finally, after a year and a half, oh, I made extraction, and there they are! Yeah, we did it, yeah! Pilot of Travis's plane forgot to refuel and the plane went down immediately. Travis becomes trapped in Frog Island with his first night in the middle of a thunderstorm. How will he find his way out of this now? Whew. We got a banger coming and it's like 
one in the morning. Rain is coming, and so are those lightning bolts. This is not going to be cool. Holy shit. I'd probably drink like 30 fucking beers. I'm speechless. I don't even know what to say. No, I'm in the middle of a fucking forest, and we got a fucking banger coming. All I can say is fucking cheers. That was scary. Wish us luck. Oh boy, here it comes. Here it comes. I'm just gonna pound this. It's been raining for three days straight. Downpours. Straight downpours. Three days straight. You can hear it bouncing off my tent. I'm starving. I found the bottle of vodka in the woods. I've been drinking this. Because I can't boil the water. Powerful winds ripped through Travis's camp, knocking down trees right near his tent. Possible tornadoes ripped trees with their roots right out of the ground. More storms are on their way. I found some food. I'm having frog legs for dinner tonight, boy. A couple toads. Giant frogs. Oh, I found the money pit. Frog legs, baby. Frog legs. So what I did pretty much was I put a bunch of sticks together and I built a crossbow. Now I'm about to go out here and get some deer. I'm going to practice at a tree first. Ooh. Ooh. So it sticks right in pretty much. And um, we're going to go find some food because we left our fucking cooler back. Oh, man. Naked and afraid. Here we go. I'm going to show you how to build an AK-47 next. So I just found a bunch of clams laying around this island. What I'm going to do, go heavy on the butter. Lick your fingers. Whew, the bears are coming tonight. Don't touch anything. My secret ingredient, beer. Fill that sucker up. We're doing drunken clams. One whole beer. We got fucking 120 beers that we found around on this island, so we're good to go. All right, so pretty much I just talked to the producers of the show, and um, they dropped me. They said I'm out here. I'm stranded. They said shit hit the fan on the outside, man. Something about fucking corona? I don't know. Um, I don't know what the hell beer would be causing such rowdiness for, but... Now I need to make a weapon, preferably a gun. What I'm going to do is start taking sticks together. You want to intertwine them, tangle them up a little bit, tie a little knot, make a little bow. Boom, we got a knot. And, ah! Ah! This prickly, folks. You want to put that in there? And then boom, AK-47. It's time to find some deer. And uh, nothing but rain. I had a couple days without rain. I got some food in me, some protein. Oh, we got another banger coming. We got another banger. Thunderstorms, high winds. I just had a bolt of lightning crack this tree, and the fucking thing just collapsed. That's the part about being in a forest that you gotta watch out for the high winds and the trees, man. It's right Bob Weed, we Lena. This wind is kicking in. That just slanted sideways. Well, this is my last hope. There will be no extraction. The producers informed me they deserted the program. I'm not coming back out. I made a message in a bottle. I'm gonna launch it into the water, hoping maybe someone will find help. Um, I got uh, my winning numbers for the take four, the take five, 
and uh, the pick three Mega Millions. Um, a couple last wishes, and uh, once again, failed extraction. 160 days, naked and afraid, but I still fail, and I'm not going to collect the money. Well, it's my last chance. I found the canoe and paddles on the side of a riverbank. I'm going to do my own extraction. I've been here for 167 days. They abandoned me. Oh, naked and afraid. 167 days, and I'm still not getting paid. Travis's partner was a no-show due to a hangover. Travis once again demonstrated expertise survival skills, staying alive after the program was scrapped and the rescue plane crash. Although Travis did not complete the challenge and will not collect any money, his survival skill ranking jumps to a solid 10. Travis's camera was found, but he is still among the missing. Will Travis once again resurface and give it another go? Find out on the next season of Afraid and Naked.